Yo, what's up guys, it's Grant and I'm back with another video. Now today I'm gonna be doing a closet tour, like clothing collection type of video. The last time I did this was I think like a year and a half ago, so a long time. So I figured this would be a great time to make an updated video. So yeah, that's why the scenery is a little different. I know the lighting's a little bit weird and you guys can see uh, the unfinished window there. But yeah, this is my closet. It's nothing crazy, it's just, you know, a little closet. So we're gonna start off with the shirts. Okay, so starting off with the shirts, as you guys can see, I got most of them right here. And then there's a couple in this chest of drawers, you guys can't see that right now, um, that I'll show you guys in a little. Um, but it's pretty unorganized, so I guess we're just gonna hop into it. You know, I'm not actually gonna show you guys most of these because I'm pretty sure I did in the last one. Um, but one that I should show again, this one, it's the Sneakerhead in the Bay, um, David Got Kicks merch from SneakerCon New York 2017, I wanna say. They actually gave this one to me, so shout out to them if they're watching this. New York State of Mind, go check them out. I'm sure you guys know of them, but if not, then go check them out. So all the stuff over here doesn't really fit me. It's more like merch and stuff. Oh, I should actually show you guys this. Shout out to Soulfire Sneakers, Isaiah from Soulfire Sneakers. Um, you guys probably know of them too. Obviously the grandpa returns Nike mags that has millions of views. Um, and they actually gave this one to me at a local sneaker event. So shout out to them. As you guys can see, you got the thumbnail there. We got this Views tee I actually got for free at an event. anti Shoso Club uh, Butterfly like Flower tee, also too small for me. An Astroworld Festival tee. This actually came and it was way too small. Next up, we got another piece of Astroworld merch. I got this one at the Connecticut show and wish you were here with a skeleton hand. Moving on, we got this vintage tee. As you guys can see, it's just brown. It says Bryce Canyon. I thought this was really cool. I actually got a lot of the shirts you're about to see. Um, I got at Mass Vintage, which is a vintage store in Amherst, which is kind of far away from the city, but I made that trip and uh, I got a lot of tees from them, so you guys will see that. But yeah, I thought this was really cool. Someday, if I have the Travis ones, they keep going up, but someday if I have them, that would be a super sick fit. So yeah, this is really cool, fits me nice. As you guys can see right here, you got that blue and white tie-dye, kind of like splotchy, cloudy kind of vibe. Um, no bystanders on the front. Wish you were here, Astro on the back. Next up, we got this Double the Trouble tie-dye shirt. As you guys can see, you got the characters right there. And then next up, what do we have here? Oh, the Bodega tee. I really like this one. I think I already showed this one to you guys a couple videos back, but yeah, you got that Bodega Fast Cash tee. Um, really colorful, and then the rest of it's just white. Nice summer tee. And then moving on, we got another tee from Mass Vintage. We got this Mickey Mouse Florida tee. As you guys can see, you got Mickey there, and then Goofy in the back. And then when you turn it around, he's there and Mickey's in the back. I really like this tee. It's an extra large, but it fits like a large, like a small large kind of, if that makes sense. Um, it fits me really nice. So really like this tee and it goes with a lot of stuff. Here we got the Ryan Newman black and blue vintage racing tee. As you guys can see, you got the, uh, the Thunderbolts, Lightning Bolts all around the car, number 12. And then his signature there on the back. Really cool charge for speed at the bottom. This goes really, really nicely with the Travis 4s. Um, I think I posted a picture with it on Instagram, so go check that out. Next up, I really like this tee as well. As you guys can see, it says commercial screen supply. The back is super sick. As you guys can see, you got all those colors, kind of like a, like a color gradient type of thing. But I'm pretty sure that this is a uh, screen like shop or something like that for people that make their own tees. Next up, we got this great outdoors tee also from Mass Vintage. As you guys can see, you got the three images right there. The trees above, people in the um, boat, a bird flying above them, some deer, and the back is just white. I really like this tee. I actually literally just posted a picture um, with this and the Travis Force or the Travis Air Forces. Um, so go like that. That should wrap up the tees. Um, I forgot to show you, but I have this one that I'm wearing, obviously. And then next up, we got a long sleeve shirt from Astroworld. Wish you were here. Astroworld on the back and then all the tour dates on the side. Really like this shirt. I wear it a lot. Um, then moving on, we got the hoodies. First up, we got this Astroworld uh, tie-dye, obviously super bright. Um, a lot of colors on it. Got Astroworld on the back and you got the bear there. Next up, this school year, I'm telling you guys, I must have worn this like three or four times a week. I've worn this thing so much, the Astroworld hoodie that I got at Boston Calling. Um, as you guys can see, Astroworld Beyond Belief. This hoodie's so comfortable. It's getting a little bit small for me and uh, super glad that I was able to pick that up. Next, moving down to this. This is my only flannel. I don't really wear flannels that much. Um, but we got this vintage leaf, or I don't know if it's technically vintage, but it's pretty old. Um, Levi's flannel, obviously, in purple. Um, and I actually got this one because I want to get the purple Concepts Dunks. Now those, I mean, last summer they were like 275, 3, 350 maybe. And now they're like a thousand bucks. You could get a used pair for like 750. 
and I want to get them, but it's like, I could have got them for so much cheaper and now I don't know if I want to pay that much for them, especially for a used pair of shoes. Um, but someday I'm going to have them and I'm going to take a nice fit pick with this. Um, so stay tuned. And yeah, that's pretty much why I got this. I think I got this for like 30 bucks shipped on Grailed. Let me switch the camera angle just so you guys can see a little bit better. Now we go to the pants. Now most of these are jeans and I have a couple cargo Speaking of quality, next up we got a pair of Subi jeans. These are super nice. Also too small for me now. I've grown out of a lot of stuff. But as you guys can see, a lighter wash pair of denim, the Subi jeans right here with the knee rip. Only pair of jeans that I have that has a knee rip. And then on the other one, there's a full blown out knee. So yeah, these are really nice, really comfortable. Sadly, they don't fit anymore or they, I guess they do, but they're just so skinny. That's all for the jeans. Now moving on to cargos. We got another pair of cargos from Minimal. As you guys can see, you got that army camo. And I actually staged dove um, at the ASAP Fur concert with these. So these definitely have some sentimental value. The Who is Jacob cargos, obviously in the black color. These are really nice. Probably my favorite pair of pants um, that I have. I already posted a full video dedicated to these. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link down below. Yeah, really nice pair of cargos. But yeah, that's all for the pants. Then if we kind of part this over here, we got a couple accessories. So this is where I keep this shooting sleeve. Shout out to Elias, he gave me this. And then this off-white belt. I've shown this in a ton of videos. And then if we go under here, we got hats. Now I'm getting into hats. Um, I've been outside a lot this summer. And when I'm outside, hats are a necessity. As you guys can see, I'm probably sunburned. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Um, but yeah, I wear hats. As you guys can see here, we got this brown and uh, pink Astroworld hat from the festival. Same time that I got this hoodie at. Um, so that's the first one. And then I got this other one, this Tampa Bay Rays hat um, from Mass Vintage as well. This hat fits really nice. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see here, but this hat fits really nice. Unfortunately, it is a snapback. I would have wished that it's a fitted, um, but I mean, it is what it is. And I just got the medium rare hat from Kai. So that should be coming in pretty soon. That's pretty much it for the accessories. I forgot to show you guys, but we got this Cactus Plant Flea Market hockey jersey, so that's pretty cool. A little bit big on me, so I don't wear it too often. And it's really hot, even though the material is pretty thin. Those patches on the elbows are so hot and heavy and I just don't wear that too often. That's probably gonna get a lot of wear in the winter time. Now moving on to a couple pairs of socks. Normally I just go with the regular stance socks. I just got some new Nike ones, but these came in a couple weeks ago. We got these custom Cactus Jack socks, as you guys can see. We got the colorway that matches the, uh, the fours and then the colorway that matches the sixes. I don't have the sixes. Um, but this color, I actually probably like this one a little bit more even though I don't have the sixes. Um, just really nice. I really like that olive color. My friend David actually sent these to me, so huge shout out to him. You guys probably know him. David Got Kicks. Um, if you're not subscribed, I'll leave a link down below. I'm sure you guys are though. Um, but if not, click that link down below. I don't know if he's still selling those or not. They might be sold out. But if you guys want, I'll also link his website down below and you guys can check. Not sure again if they're sold out or not, but yeah. Go check out those, they're really cool and they're comfortable. I showed this a couple videos ago, the regular black Hanes hoodie, pretty cool. And then we got this one right here, this unfiltered imagination hoodie from my friend Anthony. I got this probably a year ago, he gave this one to me. And then you got the vine with the thorns growing down the arms. Um, I'm not sure if he makes this particular one anymore, but I'll also try and link his uh, website down below and you guys can check it out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna wrap it up unless I forgot anything, I don't think I did. I have a couple hats up there, but I'm, I think I showed that in the last one. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big like. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, comment down below what your favorite piece from this video was. I'm not really sure what my favorite piece is. I like all of them. Um, obviously, I mean, if I buy it, I'm going to like it. So that's going to wrap it up, as I said. But yeah, as always, it's Grant Brady Lopez. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.